I'm Breakstone and today I'm going to show you some chord progressions that you can use when you're writing songs. I'll cover four different progressions in three different keys. So in total 12 different chord progressions that you can use when you're writing songs. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel because more videos are on the way. Okay, so let's get started. First we'll cover the four chords E minor, C, G and D. Now we can place those chords in different orders uh, and we can place them in different length and durations. I will start with a sequence of four bars and put one chord in each bar. And we'll start with G first and then the D and then the E minor and then the C. This is a chord progression that's used a lot in pop music and hundreds of songs use this. Let's hear how it sounds. So that sounds really smooth and harmonic. And what's good about these four chords is that you can actually put them in any order and it will sound very good and nice. So now we could try placing them in a different order, for example, E minor, C, G, and D. Let's see how that sounds. In the next example, I will only use three different chords. Because you have to remember, even though we have four bars, we don't have to use four different chords. We don't have to change to a new chord in each bar. We can use the same chord for several bars if you want. So this time I'll try a C, E minor, and a D, and then another D. It sounds like this. We could also use even less chords, we could use only two chords and have those two chords play two bars each. So now let's try the E minor, the E minor again, and then a G, and another G. And remember, you can also try these chords in different orders than I did now. Just experiment and try putting them in all kinds of orders. Maybe you'll find your perfect combination for your song. Now let's go over to the next key. I'll play the same chord progressions only in different keys. So that can also spark some new ideas, even though they're basically the same chord progression. So let's now use the chords A minor, F, C and G. And the first combination we will use here is C, G, A minor, and F. And it sounds like this. Now we're moving on to the second one. We'll use A minor, F, C, and then G. is F, A minor, G, and another G. So remember, we don't have to use four different chords. Now, the last one is only two chords again and we'll play each of those two chords for two bars each. 
So first the A minor, A minor, and then C and C. Moving on to the last key, uh, we'll use the chords C sharp minor, A, E, and B. And we'll play the same chord progressions as the other examples, only in this key. So first off is E, B, C sharp minor, and A. Second one is C sharp minor, A, E, and then a B. Moving on to the third example, we have the A, the C sharp minor and then the B two times. And in the last example, we play the C sharp minor two times and then the E two times. All the chord progressions I'm going to cover today but remember you can also combine different chord progressions so if you're making a song one of the chord progressions could be the verse and the other one could be the chorus uh, so if you choose two chord progressions within the same key try playing them after each other I'll give you an example let's say I use the C sharp minor the A the E and the B as a verse and I'll play it four times, and then I'll go into the chorus, which is A, C sharp minor, B, and B. Now let's see how that sounds together. you could do it the other way around and say that uh, the part that I used as a chorus could be the verse and you can use the verse as the chorus. You get the picture. You have to just try this out and if you have some lyrics you sometimes will discover that the lyrics will be easier to sing over certain chord progressions or you just find something to become natural for you. So. Try it out and I hope this video gave you some tips and ideas and please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to see more videos. Bye for now.